Steph, tough loss at home. Y your thoughts on the match? Um, I thought we actually came out really well in the beginning. Put them under a lot of pressure. Um, and then um, a couple of our guys went down and needed to be attended to. And that kind of, I think, destroyed our rhythm a little bit. And then for the, for the last few minutes, they put us on our heels a little bit. But overall, I thought it was a really good first half. And then the second half was all right. Um, a little sloppy here and there. Um, still, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it, uh, it shows how difficult it is to keep a, a winning streak going. You know, that there's no room for error. You need to be taking care of your chances. Um, and you, you have to be very, very sharp in the back. And uh, um, obviously, big mistake on my part there. Um, it's just um, one to clear, maybe. Um, it's what it is. Uh, Got to get on another streak now. The first 10, 15 minutes of the second half was pretty choppy. Was was there something that you noticed from the back? Um, no, not, not in particular. I mean, uh, for the most part, I think we we played well when we when we had possession and maybe calmed down a little bit. And, and there was there was times where we could have been a bit more calm, a bit more um, you know not so straightforward, uh, trying to 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 go to goal so quickly and just wear them down a bit more. Um, the, the pressure that we mounted in the first 15, 20, um, I think that was a really good balance. It was, at times it was quick, at times it was long possessions. Um, I think if you would have maintained that for a bit longer, um, it, it would have cracked at some point. Um, um, for some weird reason in the second half, I don't think we were able to really get into a sustained pressure mode. Um, we were throwing a lot of things at them, um, but 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 it was never sustained pressure really, and obviously that made it an open open back and forth game. They had a couple of looks, and then um, you know, and then like yeah, the, the, the crap at the end um, kind of sums it up. Coach Metzler said you've saved this team's ass enough during this run that if the chances are provided in the first 20 minutes, this game's over and nothing at the end matters. Does that help you at all? <laughs> uh, and save, saving my teammates' butts is my job. That's what I'm here to do. So uh, I try to do that to the best of my ability, and when it works out, it's great. Um, when you make a mistake as a goalkeeper, it's, uh, it, it never leads to anything pretty. Um, it's frustrating when it, it's not even the goalkeeping that, that leads to a, a goal, but it's uh, something that we've been working on hard, you know, distribution and trying to uh, not boot, boot balls away, but keep possession. And uh, so far, we've been very, very good. You know, you take, an, you, you take a risk there, right? You take risks um, because you're, you're, uh, you're passing the ball around closer to your own goal. Um, I think so far, we've done exceptionally well. I think this is the first time really we got, got bitten by it. Um, it doesn't make it easier. It's, it sucks. Um, I know lost, lost us a point today and ended a streak. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll quick turn around and we'll have to keep on uh, going for it and be a big game on the weekend. Were you a little surprised that uh, to see two guys kind of pressing up on there when they were down a man that late in the game? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're taking their chances. I think it was off of uh, one of our set pieces out of the corner. Not, I'm not sure. And um, I think we had pushed up a little bit and almost left just three in the back. Um, and maybe they sensed an opportunity, right? Um, it's uh, it's one to, to to look at for us, and, and maybe just say, listen, and maybe it wasn't, it, it's not our game today, um, and uh, we don't need to uh, make it happen, force it, and just just take take, take the take the the tie and take the shutout and, and put that ball out of uh, uh, or out of danger, and, and move on. But. Um, uh, it's just uh, like I said. Sometimes you, you take those chances, and uh, um, a soft ball, um, a quick player, um, and then the result we saw. It seemed like Roman, as well as a couple other guys, came up to you um, right after the final whistle. Whenever you were just kind of trying to shake it off, I mean, did any of them say anything to you that? Cheered you up at all, and what does it mean to have the support of your teammates? After uh, I, I really appreciate the support I get, and, and I, I know it's there, and. Uh, and um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm humble I, that I have such, such, such great support around me. But this is something, as much as you know, fans or, uh, or teammates or coaches want to help out, this is something you have to go through yourself. And uh, that thing is going to be on loop for a little bit, you know. Um, and it needs to be. It, it, you, you can't just be like, ah, oh, it doesn't phase me. Oh, whatever, screw it. Uh, it's not how you 
really move past it, I think. Um, you know, I've, I've made I've made many mistakes in my career. Um, I think I've, I've got I've, I've figured out how to cope with most of them now. Um, doesn't make it easier, trust me. But um, um, it won't be my ma my last mistake. I know that. And I mean, I always joke when I make a stupid mistake. I joke to my teammates and mates and say, you know, that's one thing. When you retire and you're in a cubicle, you're not going to miss that kind of feeling of screwing up and letting everybody else down. But um, it's it's an art uh, and it's part of being goalkeeper. Um, and I have to deal with it, I will. I'll show up to work to uh, get better. And it's really nice to know that uh, Tommy will be there and the other keepers and the other my teammates to push me and to keep going and, uh, and to be ready for the next game.